The world has changed. We live in a time of great suffering and war. Our enemies grow and lurk in the shadows. For we must leave our friends and family behind. The attack on our queen was only the beginning. For we must rally together to fight this evil. I have heard the people's calling and have returned as a beacon of hope. For it has been a long time. What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, brothers and sisters, welcome back to Let's Play Guild Wars 2. It has been a long time since I've played this game, oh my god. It feels good to be back, I'm not gonna lie, it feels good to be back. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you for everyone who's been watching my Guild Wars episodes, it's, it's my longest let's play I've done 1 to 80 <clears throat> and uh, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to go back to Guild Wars you know and I've heard you guys and I, I didn't want to do it just because you know I have other let's plays to do but you know what I still get views on Guild Wars if you if you type in let's play Guild Wars 2 in YouTube I am on the I'm first page like the fifth one down that is awesome, and I still get views, I still get comments all the time, which is amazing. Uh, and uh, I got you guys to thank. A um, few mentions, I just wanted to, just a few out of like many I wanted to like say, but off the top of my head that I've been here since like day one, and also some of you people that have been like coming in late, uh, but have watched most of my episodes, you know, Ian Brownbill, Taryn Kitzmiller, uh, Masquerade Bergeron, Gothic Kitten, uh, Bryce Rob, thank you very much, guys, for uh, supporting me and uh, literally watching almost all my episodes. And uh, also Malcolm, there's a lot of them I, I'm missing. Uh, shout out to all you guys uh, because you guys have watched most of my <laughs> my Guild Wars episodes, and you have literally watched me go through a transition. And uh, you guys see me like kind of like this is season three of Guild Wars two. You know, season one was just me playing and kind of figure out how to do let's plays and then season two was right when i got the camera added the camera in and uh and now we're here season three you know i'm still learning how to do all this stuff but uh yeah you guys see me go through ups and downs you guys heard me talk about crazy stuff thank you guys uh i felt like i've grown with you guys you know um it's funny going through watching episode one to now it is it is absolutely a trip seeing that but welcome back guys we are back and i'm not going to be doing just a few episodes we're going to go for the long run here um another reason why i wanted to do it not only because you guys were asking me to do it but also i think because you guys were asking me to do it i was dreaming about guild wars 2 i had dreams like almost every day where i'd be my character and literally playing so yeah so you guys can realize right off the bat, my character has changed. Um, I changed his hair. It's only appropriate. It's been a year, guys, since I've played this game. I think the last episode I put was on June 23rd. And we're about the end of May now. So it's been a year almost. So I decided to put a beard on him and this awesome mohawk. Look at that thing. That thing is dope looking. I wish I could do my hair like that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I, just appropriate and all black, you know? I think he just looks mean as fuck. He just looks awesome as hell. But, uh, yeah. The world has changed, guys. Uh, I don't know what the hell is going on. But, uh, right off the bat, look at this area. I mean, this is massive. Look at this thing. Absolutely amazing. If you guys remember, this was like a big crater. There was a big hole in the wall construction, and uh, this is where it was. Now it's called the Crown Pavilion, but there was a big bridge going across, if you guys remember. Um, 
yeah, it looks awesome now. It's changed. And another thing I've real realized, oh, if you got, I got a little Queen Jenna here. <clears throat> I guess I got this for being uh, on Guild Wars for a year, <clears throat> something like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have her follow me around for a little bit, Queen Jenna. But uh, yeah, I got a bunch of stuff, and I spent the past couple days just going through inventory because it was full. I put stuff in my bank. Um, I just had to go through it. Uh, there was a bunch of stuff I got. A bunch of, like, XP boosters, birthday booster. Like, what is this shit? Like, it was my birthday, uh, 24-hour buff that grants 100% boost to magic find, karma gain, world versus wor world versus world rank gain, experience from kills, and gold from kills. That's awesome. How long does this last? Oh, a 24-hour buff. Nice. And I also got XP boosters, which I just got from the bank. Uh, because I'm going to be popping those while we're doing some questing. We're going to be doing some questing today, guys. I could have sworn I was level 40-something, but I'm only level 28, almost 29. So, uh, yeah. Another thing I got to repair, too. Um, but one thing I've noticed, guys, is there's a lot of people playing this game now. They're all over the place. It's insane. Like, there's people all over the place. Like, when I was playing a year ago, there wasn't this many people. Um... Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Just a lot of people playing. Before, I, I had to, like, go look for people, and, like, it was tough. But, uh, yeah, a lot of people playing. And then one thing I realized is uh, I was looking through my map, and I looked at Divinity's Reach completion, and it was 97%. I was like, what the fuck? I completed this shit. I was like, I completed this. I made a whole four episodes of trying to complete this thing. But I found it over here. So I don't know what this is all about. So we are going to go... We're going to go over there, see what that's all about. So I hope you guys are, uh, hope you guys are excited for me to come back to Guild Wars 2. I gotta say, it was one of the more fun Let's Plays I have done. I've had a good time on all my Let's Plays, but I don't know what it is about this one. I think it was because... It was the first one. Shortcut. Oh! Boof! Those skills. Oh! Moots are all about singing, dancing, and drink. I hear you. But yeah, I don't know what it is about this Let's Play. It's just... I think because it was a learning process for me at the same time. And literally, like, meeting all you guys for the first time. You guys were, like, my number one subscribers, guys. You guys were... Have been there. You'll hear no complaint from me. You guys have been helping me out through the beginning. Some say she's ineffective against the centaurs, and that bandits lurk around every corner. They say that Kotika should take the throne. The minister talks a good game. I hear you. I oh, we got a book cart. What is this all about? Let's check this out. Two books stand out here: a copy of illustrated children's book titled Oink's Adventure and Joe the Devourer: The Untold Story. Awesome. Jenna, come on, let's go. Oh, wait. Oh, this is where the uh, undiscovered interest is. Would you like to continue to the, to the dead end? No. No, stay in this world. I don't know what's in there. We're okay, we've completed it, right? Yes, Divinity is reached complete again. <laughs> uh, Alright. So... Oh, I miss the music in this game, man. That is the one thing. Oh, the music. Okay, she's starting to get on my nerves now. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... You gotta go. I'm sorry. Deposit collectible. Yeah, let's put that in the bank. There we go. Okay. Oh, we got a... We got a drink here. Alright, so... What we're gonna do... I forgot to put my timer on. Son of a bitch. Whatever. I think we've been recording for about almost five, ten minutes now, maybe, whatever. <clears throat> okay, um, so last we left off, if you guys have been, goes back to, um, episode 80, I was questing over here somewhere, over here, this is where I left off, um, All donations are 
one thing I want to do. Okay, we're level 28, so the questing area we should be in is over here. You know what? We should actually probably try to get the skill point here. He does good work. My job is better than yours. Hope you like. Let's go over there, get that skill point. Um I have totally forgotten how to play, guys. <laughs> this is gonna be quite scary. But uh I have a lot of skill points, which I should probably look into. <clears throat> I think we'll do that as soon as we come back in here. I think I have 27 skill points, and I haven't used many. <clears throat> but then again, sorry, my throat is just, ugh. I don't know why it does this every time I record, I don't know. Is it a nervous thing? Probably, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Come on. And this is literally the first time I actually boosted up the graphics. Because this is actually the first time I'm actually using my the newer graphics card I have, so, uh, yeah. Definitely has taken a long time to fucking load, Jesus. <sighs> Alright. Anytime now. I'd like to start this Let's Play today. I want to fight something. I haven't fought in a long time. Yep. Yeah. Still going. So how you guys doing? How's your day? Mine was awesome. Work has been crazy. Yeah, um, I think in my last episode I was watching it and I was talking about me barely starting my security stuff. Man. <laughs> that was a long time ago. It almost felt like watching that, it's like... And hearing me talk about security and all that, it's, it's almost been like... It seems like it's been five years, pretty much. Like, But, uh, okay. We are in the neck of the woods. That's right, we gotta keep up on our... our uh, oh, yeah, that's right, these things. Okay. <coughs> Okay, let's see, we have skills, weapon skill. We are using staff. So it's the same shit we've been having. I might want to try other weapons, man. We have a trident already, so... I might want to switch to dagger, that would be pretty interesting. I, I remember I didn't like it. But, you know, just to switch it up a bit. I got zero trades. I got 24 skills I can get. Let's see. We got healing ones. Utilities. Elite. When can I unlock this? Oh, after level 30. We're almost level 32. So that's pretty cool. Signet of Water. What is this? Glyph of Lesser Elementals. That's right. I got the glyph here where we can summon an elemental. Signet of Water. Signet of Air. What is this? What is this? Conjure Frost Bow. Manifest a frost bow in your hands and at the target location. Wielders of this weapon gain increased condition. Dur duration and healing power. Conjure frost abilities. Oh. Sorry, guys. Again, I'm having this problem of can't reading. It's because I'm not wearing my glasses, and I can I can barely see these words here. Conjure frost charges. A skill uses remaining with the conjured weapon. I might want to try that. Manifest a frost ball. Hmm. Shh, not right now. I will. You took my fucking tree, you bitch. Or did she? Uh, 
That was kind of a delayed reaction there. Okay, we got a skill point up here. Is it in this cave, maybe? Possibly? Okay, well, this, the skill point is not in here. <clears throat> Too strong. Pussy, come on, man. I think I already did this quest. I think this was leading up to something else. I think we could get out of here now. Uh, yeah, well, this is not where the skill point is. Oh, it's over here. Oh, we actually have to go through here to get to that. So we had to go. We had to go up. And this way. Yeah. There we go. Alright, let's get some of this stuff. Get some iron ores. to repair, son of a bitch. that spider over there? I don't know. Please don't disappear, fire elemental. I need you now. enough energy. So 
son of a bitch. <clears throat> Try to kill this one. Come on. Nope. Come on. Nope. I need help. First death. Here we go again. 